Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. I don't even know when I looked in on this last, but let's peel back the layers of the cardboard and have a look and see what they're doing. Looks like they're uh, making some castings here. I'm going to peel it back. Keep peeling. Let's see. The worms are probably in the middle, <laughs> or I can't see them. There they are. All right, so they're right there, and we're just going to put that back. Probably going to take off this top part, and I'm going to put some food on, and we're going to make another noodle. Okay, so this is frozen, as you can tell but they are well insulated underneath the cardboard. Some mango and banana. Make sure that I get a good layer going all the way across. Looks like you got some melon. Okay. And then we are going to give them another noodle. Let's get them some grit while I'm thinking about it. Got the last of my ground oyster shell or whatever it is. And then I'm going to put the noodle back just like that. Got some uh, new cardboard that I was using to try and wick the moisture out of the European night crawlers and red wiggler bins. So that will be another good protective layer for the lasagna bin. Okay, we're going to do a quick update on the lasagna bin. It took me so long to get the update out that it had been about five days. So let's have a look and see what they've done with their new food and new noodle. There are some gnats. Oh, got a nice worm ball though. Um, it is one of the nice things about having a copious amount of spiders in the basement. Uh, these gnats can run, but they can't hide. So that is a lovely little worm ball right there. Nice big pile of blue worms and little red worms. And uh, this is what everything looks like after a week of sitting in a worm bin. Lots of interesting colors of mold. So I'm going to cover them back up. Maybe a little better this time. And then we will come back in, a, in a, another week or two and uh, do it again. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.